Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when I moved to Miami, the first place I was able to rent was down here in the World Center, the newly built World Center. You got all the new restaurants, all the new shops coming up. This is downtown Miami over here by the heat, which it was the FTX arena. But now, of course, you know what happened with that. This is where it's popping. This is my apartment right here, the Caoba. I'm going to show you what a $3,000 apartment looked like in Miami, in the Caoba. Now, over here, we got the Paramount. That's where all the big stars stay you know, the celebrities and stuff like that. But check it out. And you see they building another one right there. It's gonna be a double decker and that's 54 stories. So it's getting crazy out here. You know what I mean? $3,000 apartment in Miami, let's go. Let me show y'all right here. Before I take y'all upstairs and show y'all the apartment, I want to show you one of my Zen areas where I come and relax and do my thing. This is where I come and, and chill and relax sometimes. This is the type of stuff you can have in Miami when you get the, the, the luxury apartments, okay? As you can see here, you know, this is just a zen. This is just a vibe right here. You know, I come down here and think, come down here and, you know, relax and stuff like that. It's just a real vibe, you know? Just imagine your apartment and you have, you know, areas like this where you just come chill and do your thing and, and relax. We got nightclubs over here. We got a cocktail bar right there. All this stuff is just coming up. All this stuff is brand new. Um, here in the Kai Oba in Miami. So yeah, I just sit here sometimes and just chill and relax and think about the vibe, man, and, and just plan my day and get it together. I might have one of these little tiny coffees or something. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, and we get it in like that. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and show you all what a $3,000 apartment look like. But before we do that, I want to show you the pool area and all that. And if you're interested in the Kai Oba, then there's somewhere you might want to come. Let's roll. Nice little restaurant right there. They just opened that nice, cool little restaurant. We got all the construction workers. They building the buildings. They putting it together. They're putting it together like crazy out here. So it's crazy right now. We're gonna slide through this door right here. Yo, so this is the Kaoba hallway. It's crazy. You see how luxury it feels and whatnot. So, you know, one thing I want to tell you about Miami is if you, the taller the building you live in, the harder it's going to be to get these elevators. So as you can see, it's for, oh, we got lucky today. As you can see, it's four elevators, but a lot of times two of them is down. So it takes a long time to get to where you need to get to. But you know, we come in here and do our thing. Welcome to Kaoba. Luxury at its finest, but it's a $3,000 apartment. You know, and, and that's just that's just general. So it's the general feel, the vibe in Miami when you live down here and you want something nice where you're gonna come and you're gonna spend that money. But you know, you get somewhere like this and, and you know, three thousand dollars seems like a lot, but let me show you some of the amenities. So you see right here is the, the luxurious um community room. You know, you can come up here, have a party. You know, I did several YouTube videos up here, and um it's a vibe, you know. Look at this place, it's a vibe. You know, you got the view. I'm going to tell you something about this building, too, in just a minute. Uh, when I first moved here, that building was not there, you know, um, so that's crazy, right? So as you can see, you know, it's, it's spacious. You know, you can come up here and get inspired, do your work, work from home. You work from home. This is a perfect type of place to work from home. Let me take you to the pool area, though. You're going to love this. You know, it's such a vibe waking up like this, you know. Every day, I've lived here for two years, so waking up like this and feeling the vibe, man, it, it just puts you in a different type of mood. Look at this on the wall right here. You know, I could be right here just chilling, just doing my thing, relaxing. It's another little sitting area right here. Okay, so this this is the this is the pool area right here in the Kaoba. At any given day, it can get crazy out here. I'm talking about a Saturday or Sunday. You think you in Las Vegas somewhere, but you in Miami. And when I tell you it's getting crazy, when I tell you it's nuts, pandemonium, it's crazy. They have the DJ out here, people grilling out on the grill, everything, man, it's going on. But you see what happened now? I moved here about two years ago and it was nothing right there. Look at that right there. You know, that's a whole building right there already. That's the second Kaoba just that quick. So we had to deal with that the whole time. That's what I'm trying to tell you. 
Now I want you to vibe off the water because I mean, think about this. Think about the bodies and the, and the women and, and, and even the men, Pauls, that you're gonna see out here with the luxuriousness of the environment. Man, this, this I come up here sometimes to just chill and just look at this view right here. Come here, let me show you this view. That's the view I come and look at right there. You know, I get inspired. You might catch me any day right here, just just chilling, just relaxing. You know, just just doing what I gotta do. Looking at the Aston Martin building, looking at the new buildings right there. You know, looking at the buildings over there. All the buildings inspire me. You might catch me over here on the grill doing my thing with the veggie burgers or something like that. Hey, I wanna say before we go downstairs, be your best at what you could be. You could be anything in life. You know, I never would have thought that I'd be in Miami living, you know, about to move to a bigger place with a better view. I never would have thought that, you know, but here I am broadcasting live from Miami. Been living here two years now between here and, and shout out to Tiffany. You know who you are. You know, it, it's a beautiful thing, you know. So we're going to go downstairs. And I'm going to show you the actual apartment that I live in. And I've been living in for two years. And I want to I'm going to let you know something about this building right here next to me. When I first moved in this building, and I'm gonna show you it a little bit better. That building was not there. It was a hole in the ground when I first moved in this apartment. In two years, they built a whole 56 story building. That's crazy, let's go. That's the crazy gym right there. I'm talking about Planet Fitness. I'm talking about any type of gym you think of don't have nothing at that. We ain't gonna go in there right now because you know that might not be the vibe of going in there and letting people, you know, people trying to get their workout on. So I don't wanna disrupt nobody. But let me show you this crazy view real quick before we go downstairs to my apartment. Look at this, this, this architecture. Like I said, this building, look at that building. That building was not there when I moved in this apartment. It was a hole in the ground. Now this building is standing up as big as the eye can see. It's crazy, it is crazy, it is crazy, right? So I come up here sometimes and get, get you know, motivated and stuff like that. As you can see, you have the heat arena right there. You got the heat arena. You know, you can just vibe, you know, when there's games, it's crazy out here. All this, what they're building is the World Center. It's gonna be crazy out here in Miami. When they get done with this World Center, Brick will watch out, cause the World Center coming. Let's go down to the apartment. Let me show you what you really tuned in and tapped in for. I just wanted to show y'all some of this luxuriousness, cause it's serious. Like you, for $3,000, this is what you get. I really want to show y'all the gym, but I'm, I'm not going to do that to the people right now. It's crazy like that. Look at all this architecture. I love architecture. That's one thing about Miami is architecture everywhere, even with the designs and the stuff like that. So I love it. Let's go ahead and see if we can catch one of these elevators real quick. Because like I said, they're always booked or somebody on like that's locked. That, that elevator not working right now. Let's go over here. See if we can catch one. Hey, this is Miami. This is James Mack. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe. We're just getting into the meat of the video. I'm about to show you my studio apartment that cost $3,000 in, in this Cahoba. When I first moved to the apartment, it didn't cost $3,000, but the rent went up so crazy. Come on. Now, in the middle of me finding this apartment, not only was they gave me the someone else is looking at the apartment and da da da, this, that, and that, but they tricked me. And I'm gonna tell you why. Check this out. This is crazy. I'm gonna tell you, I, I, I not know this. Okay, this is my floor right here. This is the fifth floor. Every floor you go up, the price get higher and higher, okay? So I didn't know this when I moved in an apartment that, and, and they didn't let me see the apartment until I got ready to move in. But come check this out. This, I'm, I'm gonna show you my apartment, but check this out. I didn't know over here in this corner, it was this right here. Come come check this out, come check this out. Check, this is the floor I live on, check this out. First of all, you see that? I wish y'all could smell how it smell right now. Check this out. That's a whole dog park right there, right? They cleaning it right now, but they bring their dogs out here. And all I hear at night is barking and dogs running, whining. Fighting dogs. I had a dog fight in front of my apartment. It was crazy. I was like, man, it's crazy. So the smell is really bad, but it's all that was left. It was fully booked when I moved down here. Oh, that's a pretty dog right there. It was fully booked when I moved down here, so I have no other choice but to take this apartment. So check it out. Okay, y'all, this is the big reveal. Welcome to my $3,000 apartment in Miami. Let's ride. This is the entrance. This is where I come in. This is my 
coat room or where I had my shoes and everything. Um, this is a spoiler alert. I am moving um, to a bigger apartment. So the apartment was fully furnished and everything was in here. But since I'm moving, I said, let me go ahead and do this video to show y'all what $3,000 can get you. So we come down the hallway, it's pretty tight as you can see. You know, hey, we got a bathroom right here. You know, nothing, nothing special. This, that, and the other. Nothing, nothing too much special. That's my shower and everything. Um, you know, nothing special. Nothing special. Let me take you over here. All right. This is where it get well. Come on. Let me show you something. So you got a washer and dryer right there. So that's a good thing right there. Washer and dryer inside the unit. Right here is the walk-in closet, guys. Um, it was fully packed in there. All my clothes was packed. That's what I'm wearing today. I have some moving, more moving to do. But, you know, it, it, it's a decent size, you know. It's a decent size, guys. This is my stainless steel. So all with, with the apartments here, most apartments in Miami, the top apartments, you get stainless steel appliances and so all that. Come on, let's go. So guys, this is a $3,000 apartment in Miami. You know, this is, I cook, my bed was right here. Right, I just got an old cheap bed because I like to pack light, so I don't really do a lot of whole lot of furniture stuff. Hey, squeaky bed, IKEA, y'all, I order for y'all merchandise, but you know it was just something I need to grab. I like I like um, Zen type stuff, so you know it worked for the time. I didn't want to take a lot of time and, and effort trying to find nothing to, to uh, you know buy. So here. You know, I, I actually have this chair over there and my couch will sit here, but I'll sit here and chill, relax, have my TV and my music over there in my studio um, and everything. And it, you know, it's a vibe, you know, it, it was cool. This is my view, I'm gonna show you my view, but that's that right there. This is the living room, that's the bedroom, that's the kitchen. Check this out. This is my garage. Okay, this is my form of transportation other than my vehicle. I do have vehicles, but for me personally, doing business in the, in the Diamond District and in Brickell, it's faster for me to, to take the scooter to go see clients and stuff like that or go to the city center and stuff like that to my office because parking is crazy down here. And then if it flood or something or something like that or traffic, I don't want to deal with that. I just take this and you will see once you come down to Miami that this is like some of the, the more modern uh type of transportation people flying down the street in these scooters you feel what i'm saying so you know that's that's one thing so before i wrap this little video let me take you to the balcony where all the magic happens let's go and once again i'm moving we have to do a lot more cleaning in here but i'm here sometime i'm here two weeks and then i'm in charlotte two weeks charlotte north carolina where my other business is at these are my high-tech bikes. You know, I like to bike around here. You'll see a lot of people. That's the thing uh, about Miami. People love to exercise. You know, when I got out here, my exercise just went to the next level because all I seen is people running, biking, doing all these type of things. So my exercise was just went to the next level. So this is where I come and get my inspiration. That building was not there. So when I first rented the apartment, I had to sacrifice and take the apartment in the construction, looking at construction. But at that time, the apartment was about 2,400 and some change. Since then, the apartment went all the way up to 2,900 and some change. So uh, you see how the rent just increased and it's only 550 square feet. But I mean, after all the things I done showed you, I couldn't pass it up, you know what I mean? It was more, it was other things, 4,000, 3,500, but in this area, downtown, that was one of the best deals. Now, because of inflation and because of the economy, you may be able to come down here now and wiggle and negotiate and get a better deal somewhere, but I don't think the Caoba is giving better deals like that. But I just love looking at the view right there. We have many stars right there. And then of course, in the, in the, in the museum building, we have, um, all the big stars, Will Smith, everybody, all type of big stars live right over there. You see Bentleys, Maybachs. I love the inspiration. I done met all the influence, so many influencers. Bam, man, Kevo live across the street. All them guys. You have uh, all the podcasters across the street. And that's what inspired me to start doing my own thing. I'm like, man, I need to get my podcast up. I started doing a podcast here in Miami. I'm like, I need to start vlogging. I'm starting to vlog more. So, um, you know, I'm seeing guys riding Rolls Royces and all this just off of that camera, you know? So I'm like, let me, let me work that camera. And it all came from being in the environment. I wake up every morning, exercise. I've lost about 20 pounds living in Miami. 
You know what I mean? Just because my eating habits got better, I feel inspired. So that's when I say you need to move to Miami. These are the type of things I'm talking about. But when I tell you don't move to Miami, you have to be ready because the prices is off the chain. $3,000 for this apartment. I'm signing out. This is James Mack. You can, if you want some jewelry, get in touch with me. We're doing bigger and better things. I want you to like, subscribe, share. If you live in the Cahoba, man, put something in the comments. You know, if you live in the in the Paramount, put something in the comments. Or if you you, you live in Bessel, put something in the comments. You know, if you got any questions, you know, I'm here to help you. We're moving on to something bigger and better. So now I'm going to get a view of the ocean or the bay. And uh, it's going to be a lot better. Uh, so you got to start somewhere. You know, if you need help starting in Miami, give me a ring. Give me a shout. I know this video alone. We're going to sign out. Hey, you can do whatever you put your mind to. I never would have thought I'd be living in Miami. Look at my view. And it's getting better now. So you can do it too.